TV powered by Community Therapy. Today we're speaking about back pain, in particular imaging of the back and what that means. Often people have an image of their back and it may be um, that they've had some back pain, they might have had an x-ray, an MRI and it comes back with a report with all of these different words. Disc bulge, disc degeneration, decreased disc signal, all of these different words, facet, joint. It can be quite um, catastrophizing, lots of big words, and makes it feel like it's very dangerous. What we do as clinicians and a physiotherapist myself and a community therapy, a range of powerhouse physiotherapists that are really skilled at supporting older adults living with pain or living with osteoarthritis or changes in their spine. So Indiana Bones here has a couple of examples of changes in his spine. Um, he's or her, Indiana? Not too sure. Um, uh, this component here is trying to flag a disc bulge, but over age, there's normal ages to the spine. There's changes in flexibility, changes in the height of the disc, the amount of um, water uh, content in the disc in the spine. And the important thing that we know from the research is that a lot of that is normal. And there's some really good research around imaging with people with no pain, but still looking at what changes they've got in their spine. So I had a little bit of a look at the data before um, doing this little episode. And for people that are 70 years old, this degeneration in the report, 93% of people had this degeneration, but had no pain. And disc bulges, people that were 70 years old, had 77% of people imaged with no pain had disc bulges. So the important thing that we take out of that as physiotherapists is that having a bulged disc in your spine, your lower back, disc degeneration, osteoarthritis of the back, doesn't mean that you can not have pain again. If you're living with pain, changes in your spine, we know that there's things that we can do to get you back to having no pain and returning to moving really well. Because the research shows us that there's so many people living amongst us and if we had a look at 100 people walking down the road and they're all 70 years old, 93% of those, 93 out of 100 of those people would have disc degeneration in their back but may not have back pain. That's a really important concept. So what do you do if you've got back pain or if you've had an image and you've got all of these scary words in your report, speak to a physiotherapist. We're really skilled at being able to interpret that for you, being able to tell it to you in normal words and what that means and what it means for you now and what you can do in the future. And there's great things that we can do to help you improve your strength, improve your flexibility, improve your balance and your walking so you can get back to doing the things that you would love to do but maybe you can't do at the moment. Hopefully that's helpful and maybe in the future we can have a look at a report together and pull it up on the screen and highlight things for you and speak about what those things mean. What is a, what is a facet joint? What is a disc? What does it really mean? And not take those things on face value and offer you some education in that space. Thanks so much and we'll speak to you next time.